The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grandpappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. She sure shines, don't she? <laughs> she sort of dazzles you. <laughs> yeah. Looks nice. Powerful lot of work, though. Yeah, but you don't mind a car like this, because when you get through, you know you got yourself a jewel. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we think so. <laughs> yeah, you sit behind the wheel of this car and <laughs> you got something to be proud of. <laughs> oh, I know. I can't wait to get behind that wheel. What's that? Oh, Grandpa, Luke, I want to learn how to drive. Drive? <laughs> you? Not in this car, you ain't. Grandpa. No, sir, ain't no woman gonna touch the delicate instruments of this fine piece of machinery. <laughs> Besides, worst time I should probably bust a fender or something. Well, what makes you so sure of that? Because you're a woman, that's why. Grandpa, this is the 20th century. Lots of women drive. Well, that don't make it right. Sugar babe, now, why do you want to drive? Me and Grandpa will take you any place you need to go. Sure. That's exactly the reason. I've got to depend on you too much. Every time I want to go someplace, I've got to wait until you can take me. Yeah, well, sometimes we're busy. I know, that's just what I'm saying. You're out in the fields and the car is just a sitting here all day. I could be using it. You could, but you ain't. <laughs> now, look, Kate, we just can't take a chance on busting nothing. The cost of repairs nowadays is, is terrible. Mm. And then again, we wouldn't want you to hurt yourself neither, you know. <laughs> Grandpa's talking sense, sugar babe. Why, if anything happened to you, we'd just never forgive ourselves, yeah, really. No, no. <laughs> Then you're both convinced that I shouldn't learn to drive? Well, uh, we can take you any place you want to go. All right, then. Uh, sugar babe? Now, hold it, Luke. Hold it. We're right here to it. Well, she looked awful mad. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, now, she's going to try to get around you, but don't you budge now. Well, I'll try. Try? This needs more than a try. This calls for do. Yeah. Now, look, Luke. You're the head of your family. You know what's right, and you've got to be firm about this thing. You've got to tell them what to do with that kid and no nonsense about it. Now, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Now, if she so much as mentions driving to you again, uh, what are you going to do? Come on, boy, tell me, what do you want to do? Well, I'll, uh, I'll put my foot down. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, I'm going to pick some flowers for Kate. I figure as long as I'm going to put my foot down, it might pay to have something nice in my hand. Well, now, I don't know what marriage does for me to make his spine turn to jelly, but it's just pitiful, that's what you just said. <laughs> Luke. So you want to take a ride into town with me? I'm going to go pick up some grain. Oh, boy! <laughs> Grandpa, while yeah. we're in town, will you buy me a dime's worth of joy beans? Absolute not. You know how Katie is about you eating too many sweets. Uh... Now, look, son, you was born with a perfect set of McCoy teeth. We don't want them springing no leaks. <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Why, thank you, Luke. That's real sweet of you. Kate, you're being awful nice. Just what are you up to? Well, nothing. You brought me some flowers, and I thought it was sweet. Oh, you might put them in some water for me, Luke. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Kate. Honey, about this business of driving the car, you know, it's only for your own sake that you don't learn how... Oh, I, I just... know, Luke. You're probably right. Uh, really, it doesn't matter one way or the other. <laughs> it don't matter? No. Oh, I think you're going to like this casserole, Luke. It's a recipe I got from Flory. Oh. Oh, I know what you're doing. You're trying to pretend that you ain't upset with me. Well, I'm not. 
Luke. Oh, Luke, it's got everything you like in it. Peas, carrots, new potatoes, string beans. Yeah, Kate. Kate, I'm your husband, and I know you. Deep down inside, it's just gnawing at you. Don't be silly, Luke. Oh, uh, Flory said to put some bay leaves in it. Gets a real nice flavor. Now, look, you know? sugar, I won't have you getting sick about this. If you're mad, just let it out, because if you hold it in, it'll just eat you up. I'm not holding anything in. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I heard about folks that have real pains inside from it. Look, I'm not going to get sick. And even if I did get sick, what's so terrible about it? It's better than wrecking the family car. <laughs> you see, you see, it is eating you up. Now, I don't want no more back talk, Kate. I made up my mind. After supper tonight, I'm taking you out for driving lessons. You going to tell Grandpa? Yeah. Uh, oh, my. Well, Grandpa doesn't have to know about it right away. After you've had a couple of lessons and you can handle a car, then we'll tell him. Anyway, you be ready after supper tonight, you hear? Well, whatever you say, Luke, honey. <laughs> Someone flaps the yaps about it. Get that? Yes, sir. You too, Pepina? Oh, si, senor grandpa. Only... Only what? Well, you know what a big blabbermouth I am. Yeah? See, si. I was just thinking, if I had the night off to be with my Conchita, I would not be here. Now, if I was not here, I could not tell what it was I did not see. See? Si? I see it real good. That's the trouble with doing something sneaky. There's always a worse sneak around to take advantage of you. All right, take the night off. Get up. What do you want? Well, I was thinking too, Grandpa. If my mouth was full of jelly beans, and I was busy chewing them, well, I couldn't talk. No, sir, I ain't gonna be blackmailed by my grandson. Grandpa! I said no. Now you leave me be. I gotta fix this so the rest of them won't see it. George. Yeah, I'll give him the message. Right. Uh, goodbye. Hey, sugar babe. Grandpa's going bowling with George tonight. Works out perfect. We'll be clear for the driving lesson. Oh, that's wonderful, Luke. I'm so excited. Yeah. Oh, Grandpa. Yeah. Uh, Grandpa, George just called and he said he'd pick you up right after supper for your bowling date. Oh, good, good. I need the exercise. Ow. <laughs> now, I guess you, uh, guess you won't be using the car tonight, huh? No, no, I won't. <laughs> you won't figure on using it, No, no. Why, we wasn't fixing to use a car for anything, were we, sugar? Well, no, no reason for us to go out in the car that I can think of. Good. No, what made you ask? Well, he, well, it was, he, the car's had a lot of use today, being in town and all. You know, a, a fine car is just like a fine horse. Got to be rested now and then, you know? Oh, Say, Grandpa... When you're in town bowling tonight, would you buy me a bag of jelly beans? <laughs> Luke, you know I don't like you eating sweets all the time. You hear what she said, little Luke. <laughs> Say, you should have seen what just happened outside. Uh, uh, now, Kate, I don't see no reason why the boy can't have some candy once in a while. I'll get some jelly beans, son. Huh? Thank you, Grandpa. Yeah, hey, don't mention it. I'll get it all cleaned up for supper, won't you? Get to your room. <laughs> Sneaks. Where you go, sneaks. Press down on that button with your left.
left foot. See, that's it. Then take your right foot and give it a little gas. Go ahead. It's running. <laughs> yeah. You started off by yourself. Now, wasn't that easy? Oh, is that enough for the first lesson? No, Luke? no, no, no. We're going out for a little spin. You just pay attention to what I tell you. It's going to be easy here. Now, you see that over there, that pedal? Well, yeah. That's the clutch pedal. Now, you step down on that. Go ahead. Step down all the way to the floorboard. Yeah. Now, give me your hand. Here. Now, you're going to shift it into low. That's shift it into first gear. Oh, Luke, I'm scared. <laughs> Don't be silly. You're doing fine. Now, you let the clutch out. You just kind of lift your left foot off the floor slow and easy-like. And at the same time, with your right foot, you just press down slow on the gas pedal. All right, now, go ahead. Same all time. All right. Go on. <laughs> We didn't. We probably just hit a milk pail or something we didn't see. No, Luke, I think I hit the hay wagon. You couldn't have hit the hay wagon. All you did was start it up. Holy cow! What is it? Luke, isn't that supposed to be up there? Uh -huh. Oh, Luke, what have I done? Well, I'm afraid you hit the hay wagon. Grandpa was right. I wrecked the car the first time out. Now, 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 honey, now. What's he going to say when he finds out what I've done? Well, I'm afraid he's going to let out a holler. We could hear... No. No, he ain't. Because he ain't going to find out that you done it. Kate, I'm going to tell him that I done it. Oh, no, Luke, you can't. Now, listen to me. It only makes sense. After what he said this morning, if he finds out you done it, he's going to let out a holler. You can hear clear back to West Virginia. <laughs> we got enough lying already. Yeah, but just this once, it's for the best. Believe me. Now, come on. If I weren't a woman, it'd never have happened. I was I born a woman anyway? Sure, babe, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'd take you over a busted fender any day. <laughs> now, come on. Oh, you two still that buddy? Yeah, yeah, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, Grandpa, why don't you uh, set yourself down? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Yeah. What she's all about? Well, Grandpa, it's, uh, it's about the car. The car? <laughs> you didn't go no place in it, did you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> we couldn't. The fenders tore off. Fender? Tore off? Yeah, that's right. Our fender? <laughs> sure. Of course, I'm sure. You know? <laughs> well, now, Luke, these things happen. I did it. And you know what? Don't pay to get excited about them, because... <laughs> you done it? Yeah, that's right, Grandpa. I sort of backed into the corner of the hay wagon and... Well, I... Tore the fender clean off. Well, now. You sure you done it? No. Look, hey. there's no use trying to protect anybody. We both know who did it. You do? It was me, Grandpa. You? Well, Luke was trying to teach me how to drive. I know you warned me against it, but... Oh, Grandpa, I wrecked the car the first time out. Well, go ahead, Grandpa. Say what you have to say. I, I deserve it. Well, go on, Grandpa. Yell at me. Scream at me. Why well, scream at you? She busted the fender. So what? <laughs> You mean, you're not mad at me? Mad at you? Why, honey? Why should I get mad at you? The deed is done. Just leave it be a last deed. When your grandpa tells you something, you just listen. Oh, oh I learned that, Grandpa. Believe me, I did. And, well, thank you for being so sweet and understanding. Well, that's all right, sweetie. And as for the car, don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Let's come tomorrow morning. We just run her into town, get her fixed. Soon be forgot about. <laughs> Good night, all.
Well, we looked over the damage. Sixteen or seventeen dollars ought to fix it up as good as new. I still can't understand how that fender got tore off. If Kate touched it at all, she'd just give it a little... Look, look, why rehash it all over again? It's done, and now all we got to do is worry about it getting fixed up. Yeah. Go get the cookie jar and see if there's enough money in paper. No, Grandpa. You're not going to take the money out of the cookie jar. Well, where else are we going to get it? But, Grandpa, that's the money we've been saving to buy you a new suit. Well, I just have to get along without a new suit for the time being. No, Grandpa. It ain't fair for you to suffer over something that's all my fault. Well, it can't be helped, Kate. Oh, yes, it can, Luke. I I'll get that money some way. I I I'll take you in sewing. I've done it before. I can do it again. Kate, you don't have to do that. I, I told you I don't need a suit. The old one's plenty good. But I want to, Grandpa. It's my responsibility. A as a matter of fact, I'm going to go call some of my friends right now. I'm going to see if they've got some dresses they need fixing. No, Kate. Jean Hardwick said she has some dresses that need lengthening. By golly, one thing you've got to say about my Kate. She's got character, huh, Grandpa? She's a real McCoy, ain't she? Yeah, she sure is. <laughs> I guess we'd best get back to work, huh? Yeah, I'll get the tractor started up. Yeah, hey, Pepina, you can pitch hay with me. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather work with Luke. <laughs> me too! <laughs> You mean about that night off? How can you forget it? You already done took it. Then I'll give it back. On my next day off, I will work to make up for it. Now listen, Pepina. Senor Grandpa, I am ashamed to be a part of this. <laughs> Grandpa, take back your jelly beans. <laughs> well, you hardly touched them, son. I'd rather eat honest spinach than crooked jelly beans. <laughs> now listen to both of you. Let me explain. Senor Grandpa, there is only one explanation to what you have done. Es una acción muy deshonesta y estoy muy avergonzado. That goes for me too. Yeah, you mighty fine supper cake. Mighty fine. Thank you, Grandpa. No one can pick vittles like cake, Jim. Thank you, Grandpa. I'll get it. Hello? I wish Kate would quit moping and forget all this. I have. Oh, yes, Mrs. Wilkins. I'll get her. Just a second. Kate, it's for you. Oh, thank you, Hattie. Hello? Oh, oh, yes, Miss Wilkins. I did leave a call for you. Uh, oh, well, uh, I remember you saying at the PTA meeting how you need a babysitter sometimes, and I, I just wanted to tell you I'm available. Oh, oh, yes, any night of the week. Oh, and, and Miss Wilkins, if you need any washing or ironing done, uh, well, I, I can use all the work I can get. A and I'd, I'd appreciate it if you tell your friends. Oh, thank you, Miss Wilkins. Goodbye now. Kate, you ain't gonna do none of them things. It's too much. Grandpa's right, Kate. But how else am I gonna raise all that money? You don't have to raise no money. No sewing, no ironing, no babysitting. No, nothing. Because you didn't wreck that car. What? That fender was tore off before you sat down behind that steering wheel. Well, Grandpa, are you sure? I ought to be. I'm the one that done it. And I got Pepino and little Lucas witnesses. It happened yesterday morning. I was ashamed to admit it. That's the way I talked to Kate about her driving and all. And then when she stepped up and said she'd done it, why, I... You've seen an easy way out, so... So you let Kate take the blame. That's right, Luke. I'm ashamed of myself, but... I ain't gonna ask for forgiveness, because I don't deserve none. I'll say you don't deserve it. Why, do you know that Kate's been worrying herself sick about this? She's been willing to do any kind of work just to pay for what you've done? Well... She ain't going to have to, because we're going to use the money out of the cookie jar. I wouldn't have felt right of wearing that goddamn suit anyways. I'm the one that done the damage, so it's up to me to make it right. And that ain't all I want to do. Kate? I want to learn you how to drive. Never mind, Grandpa. I can teach my own wife. 
Now, Luke, Grandpa admitted it was all his fault. I I'm willing to forget it. And if he wants to teach me, I I'd like him to. Well, if you say so. All right, Grandpa, you can do it. Thank you, Luke. Senor Grandpa, you have done a wonderful thing, so I will not break our deal. I will keep the night off I took. You're a good grandpa, Grandpa, and I forgive you, too. And to prove it, I'll take back my jelly beans. Thank you. Thank all of you. Congratulations, Mr. McCoy. Your wife has got a driver's license. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, temporary one, Mrs. McCoy. The permanent one will be mailed to you. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you did it, sugar babe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Grandpa, I just want to say right now, I couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, I dare to do it, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, hop in. I'll drive us home. Kate, you'll drive. Well, yes, I, I got my license now, haven't I? Now, you be careful, sugar babe. Cars is tricky, you know. Luke, I've been practicing for two weeks, and I passed the test, didn't I? You ought to have a little faith in me. 